Hey guys, welcome to another intro tutorial for Drupal. Today I'm going to show you how to create content and uh, how to link it to these buttons here, right? Now if you don't know how to create these buttons, you can view a previous tutorial that I did and hopefully that should enlighten you, alright? Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to type in your administrator username and your administrator password. Firefox has already remembered this for me so I don't need to type it in but you may need to type in yours alright now click on login okay and now you've logged into your administrator account what you need to do is click on create content alright now there will be a list of options here some might be more some might be less than the options that you have all of you should have page though so click on page Alright, so what we're going to build now is we're going to build a front page or a landing page for our website. So for example, if somebody goes to your website and your website's URL is, um, I don't know, redbox.com.my or in my case, the netjedi.com or it could be, for example, uh, whitedrinkingglass.net uh, whatever it is okay that will be your front page or your landing page the first page that people see when they come to your website all right so the title of your website or uh, title of your landing page uh, let's say for example we call it home all right now the body the body is basically uh, what actually goes into your website all right and uh, there's a whole list of other options here there are only a few that we're going to look at the first one is menu settings okay so menu settings is basically the button that will link to this page all right an apparent item primary links now for a front page it's not really that important but uh, I'm just going to choose home anyway disregard what weight is okay now body right okay so for body we are going to type in uh, something that is under full HTML, all right? Now, depending on the uh, modules that you have installed into your Drupal, you might have a, uh, a different editor that appears here. You might not have an editor that appears. Now, if I've created a website, I will choose or I will use FCK editor. And this is what is appearing here, all right? I'm going to do another tutorial showing you how to use FCK Editor and uh, I've actually configured it so that FCK Editor appears when I choose full HTML, alright? So in this case, I'm going to choose a simple uh, text here which is welcome to my website, alright? Uh, ignore everything here except for comments. Do you want uh, visitors to be able to comment on this page so I do not so I'm going to choose disabled authoring options uh, authoring information not important right now publishing options all right now if this is going to be your landing page or your front page you want to click on promoted to front page all right okay so since all of this is created we're just going to click on save all right and before that I'm just going to run this through one more time title will be the title of your page Parent item will be linking to home, okay? Disregard the weight, this is your body, what will appear on the page. Uh, input format, for this case, it will be full HTML. Publishing options will be from the front page, and again, command settings is disabled. Click on save. All right, you have now created your front page or your landing page. So if you click on home, you'll come to home, welcome to me website all right because i talk like a pirate welcome to me website all right so uh, you want to create another page for cars currently there is no page for cars all right so if we go back and uh, click on create content let's click on page again now under title let's type in cars okay menu settings parent item and the primary link scroll down let's choose cars okay body um, we're gonna type in something simple so under the input format I'm gonna change it to full HTML something simple let's say um, c 
cars that I like. Okay, okay. So uh, this doesn't need to be in capital, but I'm just going to leave it in capital for now. And then under authoring, sorry, under comment settings, I want people to be able to post comments on this. So I'm going to choose read, write. Under publishing options, we are not going to promote it to the front page because we already have a front page, right? We already have a landing page. So this will be a sub page by itself. Let's click on save. All right. Now, if you click on cars, you can see you come to the cars page and you can even add a comment if you're logged in. So subject would be, uh, uh, I like your cars. Okay. And comment would be cool cars, man. So if we preview, it will look like this. Okay. I like your car, cool cars, man. Let's click on save. So you can see that uh, people can now post comments on this page because we have chosen that option. All right. So people can comment on your page. They can ask you questions or they can, uh, you know, give their opinion. All right. So another way to uh, create buttons and pages is click on create content, click on page title. Let's say this will be uh, about me. All right. And the menu settings menu link title the link text corresponding to this item so this is basically the text uh, for the button all right so let's choose about me okay parent item will be primary links you're going to leave that all right full html i am the net jedi sorry jedi yeah okay i am the net jedi all right so again, uh, I don't want people to be able to comment on this. This is not promoted to the front page. It is sub page. Click on save and you can see another button appears about me. Okay. And when people click on this button, it will come to this page. So cars will lead to this page. Home is to this page. So this is another way to create buttons for your menu bar. And it's a little faster. All right. So you would just go to create content page. On the menu settings, type in the text for your button. So let's say this is um, something else. Let's say contact info. Title is contact. Okay, wait, disregard it. Okay, five 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 two five two five. Let's say it's a Hollywood number. All right, so my phone number. My phone number is 555-2525. Again, we're going to not bother about any of this and just click on save. And now we have contact info. So contact info will have this information about me. We'll have this cars, home, etc., etc., etc. All right. So this is how you can create buttons. Uh, this is how you can link, uh, link content to the buttons. And this is how basically you start to configure your website, all right? Now, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually use FCK Editor so that you can embed videos, you can upload pictures, and just make your pages a little more entertaining. Until next time, take care. This has been Tutorials on Graffiti.my and The Net Jedi.